Good morning. Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel again. This is the morning of the 10th. This is Greta's herd of puppies. These guys are doing super good. Uh, they go in next Monday for their spay neuters. They are completely in the house with us. Uh, they are away from their mom and they're getting really chunky. Um, they are almost impossible to do on a table to take their photos. So what I'm gonna do this week and next week, uh, we're gonna do videos for you. We'll try and do a really nice long one so you can see your pups. And so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna find them hopefully in here. I'm gonna go down through and give you their color collars first and instead of hunting them and then I'll go through here and I'll find them for you after that. Um, well, Vanessa's gonna help me hunt. So the little one, first one in here is the Blue Merle female. She's got the pink collar on and she's playing with the toy. And she's on the left. She's the real dark one. And today she weighs five pounds, uh, just a hair, oh, not quite an, an ounce. So she's just right at five pounds. The next one is the white collared female. And it's a black pup. There she is. She's right there in the center, taking off. She's hard to keep track of, but I think we still got her. There we go. She's attacking everybody. So today she is 5 pounds, 12.5 ounces. These guys are like crazy this morning. Crazy people. Uh, the next one is the neon orange. And it's right there in front of us. Right there, the merle in the center, the black in the party. There we go. You can see the collar. And today it weighs 5 pounds, 2.5 ounces. So getting bigger all the time. The next one is the light pink female co with the collar. Uh, that's the mom. I think she's down here chewing. Well, now she's mobbed. She's the one on the bottom. <laughs> there she is. She's on the back. Oh, she's taking retaliation. She's got the brown toy. There she is. We got her. All right. She's four pounds, 15.5 ounces, almost right at five pounds. The next one is the mob colored collar. And I saw her, she's right underneath of us. There we go, she just popped out right there in the middle. She's the black with the mauve, and I can't get her away from my feet. She's right there under me, there she is. You can just see that mauve collar for a second. All right, and today she is four pounds, 11.5 ounces. Let's go this way. I'm getting too much sun in there and I'll put them by with the sun behind me. All right. So what do we got next? The next one is the red. And I think this is her over here. She's chewing on the toy. Yep, that's her. There, we got a glimpse of that red. A oh, him, sorry. I always say hers. So when I say her, don't listen to me if it's really not a her. Five pounds, five ounces today. The forest green, which is the party merle. And that's the bale. Um, yep, right here underneath me. Right there is the party merle. Oh, it's gone. Six pounds, one ounce as of today. And the next one is the yellow collar. And I always have trouble finding the yellow collar one. Their hair is getting so long. There it is. It's right there. It's the black pup. There you go. There you can see the yellow collar. So today he is 6 pounds, 2.5 ounces. The royal blue collar is on the bottom of this tussle. There he is. Right there. And today he is 6 pounds, just a hair, old, not quite 6.1 ounce. Uh, neon green, which is right here underneath of us with the dark leg. These guys are really wound this morning. Standing on the fence, there we got the collar. Good job. Six pounds, three ounces. The light blue collar, which is right over here sitting down looking at us. No, that's not it. It moved. It's up there. There it is. There it is, it's up here chewing on the one with the blue collar. All right, the one in the back is the light blue collar. No. no, that's the green that's collar. The no. Where is the blue collar? Nope. Well, we're searching. I guess I should go back this way while we're searching. Okay, see if you can find a light blue collar. 
I wonder if it got switched. Shouldn't have. It's right. There. That is the light blue yeah, one with the right face. First time. Well, we gave that. We did the wrong color collar with him a little bit ago. Then that's the forest green. Are you sure that's not the forest green collar? No, the forest green's right here. Okay, so it's light blue. We're safe. And the forest green collar puppy is down here underneath. There we go, laying there on the ground. Because I think we did it wrong a little bit ago. They're so much alike when they're running around. And then the blue collar puppy sitting right next to them. Okay, so the light blue po collared puppy weighs 5.5 ounces today. And the purple collar is last. Yep, she's right here underneath me. So this is the black and white. And she is 6 pounds, 15.5 ounces. Almost 7 pounds. Almost seven pounds. She is a tank. So, everybody today, we're going to leave them outside for a while and let them run this energy off. Although they've all messed in the gravel, and now we have, we'll probably have to give them a bath because they're knocking each other down. But they are busy, I'll tell you. Um, they're inside with us. We have them in three kennels with four in each kennel, and their kennel is five foot by ten foot. So we brought them out right behind the back door this morning, so they're right outside the garage. We thought it would be easier to shoot them out here. And they are just... If you don't let them wear this energy off, oh, I'll tell you what, they are ornerier than all get out. The biggest thing when you take these guys home is you've got to run their energy level off at least once to twice a day. Run them till their tongue hangs out. Let them chase the ball. This age is awesome to teach them to chase balls. They've got to, um, and this is a nor this is normal puppy spat. They play and they interact with their mouth. That's how they communicate everything. Um, they groom each other that way. They argue with their mouth. They nibble on you, and they actually will get to the point where, when you take them home, you have got to stop them from not, like, chewing on your fingers. Don't let them nibble on you at all. Um, we actually take the back of our hand and pop them in the nose and tell them no bite. And I'm not nice about it. So if you do not correct the biting when you get them home, they will become your alpha. And then it's a miserable existence. So be tough on these guys when you get them home. Set down rules, boundaries, and limitations. Um... Don't let them do anything as a puppy that you don't want them to do as an adult. Vanessa just walked in and they're following Vanessa's feet. They're going, where did she go? Hmm. They don't know. She's disappeared. But they're really smart. That's the biggest thing with the schnoodle is the brain power. It is amazing how smart these little boogers are. So... Uh, don't feel bad that you put them in a crate. They need to spend 50% of their day in the crate. So when you are not physically interacting with these puppies, which means talking to them, handling them, playing a game with them, doing something with them, don't just let them roam the floor. Lock them in their crate. Don't let them sleep on your lap. Um, make sure that... Especially the first two weeks will set the tone for the whole rest of the time with you. These guys are like... I always tell people they're piranha on four feet. They really are. They're, <laughs> they're like little demons at this age. Katie says, hmm, there goes Katie. And she said, I'm not dealing with these kids. Katie is our house dog, shop dog. Now they're calming down. They're starting to get this energy out. So they play really hard like this for about a half an hour, and then they just crash for about an hour. But it's such a pretty day that we decided to let them out and let them run this energy off. It's the best thing for them in the whole world. If we're shipping your puppy to you, please, please remember to take a small trash bag with you to the airport, some paper towels, some wet wipes, some clean newspaper. That way, if your puppy has had an accident, on the way to you when you get them at the airport. You don't have to ride home in a smelly crate. Uh, clean everything out, wipe his feet off if need be, or wipe the crate out, put some clean newspaper in it, and put the puppy back in it to ride home. Uh, don't let the puppy spend all day on your lap, carrying him around or playing with him. Make sure he spends some crate time. Otherwise, 
he's not going to let you sleep at night. Um, I do not get up with puppies at night for any reason. If, if, they, if you start that, I find it becomes your new schedule. So make sure you don't have a big fancy bed in there. Leave some newspapers in there. Um, many of these guys go home and never wake up at night at all. And if you start getting up with them in the middle of the night, that becomes their schedule and they get on that habit. So I'm not a fan of getting up in the middle of the night. They will take them a week to two to learn your family's time clock. They know our time clock. They know what time we're out. We open the doors. Uh, we get rolling in the mornings. But your time schedule will be all new. Everything will be new to them. And it'll take them a week or so. Oh, this is going to be fun. Usually it's a quick spat. That was an argument. Okay, we're going to stop this if they don't. Nope, there they go. They walked away. Normally it's a quick spat and they're gone and it's done. Um, so when you go home, don't be surprised if it takes a little bit for these guys to get used to your schedule. Um, don't change your lifestyle for them. Don't take off work to stay home with them. Because once you do that and you go back to work, you've got to make them learn a whole new schedule. Just make them slide right into your lifestyle and go on with it. If you have not booked in for a puppy pickup with me, please call me and do so. Uh, it's much better to call me than email me. I know I've got a couple of you I've got to get back to. So um, schedule is filling up a little bit quickly. So let me know. Uh, Carrie's is going to go home the same time as Greta's. So it's best to get booked in as soon as you can. Um, so I hope to have. I hope you have all enjoyed the video. I hope you've all got to see your little guy or gal. Oh, these two. And uh, we'll talk to many of you soon, and we'll see a lot of you very soon, too. So have a great week.